protest, protesting the fact that um, the subsidy removal has increased fuel tremendously and Nigerians are unable to, um, to manage or to, uh, Nigerians continue to suffer with this fuel increment. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Call us again on the numbers of your screen. We'd like to hear your, your view. Do you agree with the protest? Do you think it's right? Do you think it's necessary? Or do you think they should go back to the negotiation table with the federal government and not have to um, disrupt businesses by protesting again today? Tell, uh, you can call us on the numbers on your screen, 081-0764-1679-090-241-6242-0779-090-241. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. We've not read tweets since, so As all in... the topics we've been talking about since. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll we check it out. out our <laughs> viewers. Okay. One very important, um, the request that the Labor, Nigerian Labour Congress have made is that the, um, they want the 500, the 500 billion naira for 125 poor Nigerians is not, is the, for them is not conducive. They also mentioned the fact that they wanted a reversal of the policy the policy that puts um, the, pet, the, the removal of petrol petro subsidy, they want that policy to be um, reversed. They also mentioned that, like Mariah said, they actually threatened earlier to go on strike, protest and strike. But now they are saying, we're not going on strike yet. We're just protesting what is currently happening, the rising hardship to Nigerians. I, at, at first, I, 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 I have a level of um, distrust that the Labour Congress as um, NLC has earned my distrust over the t over time. You don't necessarily this admit. Not they've earned it. Not necessarily this particular um, um, leadership. Mm -hmm. But over the years, we've seen protests in, protests out, and we hear stories of how it just everybody just pockets. No actual like we did not achieve the reason for the protest or the reason for the strike, and we all go back. So <coughs> I'm not going to a place where if I say NLC, I'll just be like. Mm. People that are fighting for their pockets. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a fact. It's just a feeling I say I have. And, but when I read what their conversation is about, they're speaking, yes, for the um, organized labor, as well as the people that are uh, um, um, civil servants. I took the story a few days ago when Neka was saying that we cannot, private sectors cannot afford to um, have the economy shut down based on protest. The, the way they are on the road, businesses cannot run appropriately like this. So somebody's livelihood is already being disturbed. So we, we need to think about everything hand in hand as we are working towards um, fighting for the rights of Nigerians right. and um, trying to get the government to move positively. But I think that it was a, it's a good move that they are speaking because many of right. us are, the, many Nigerians don't, don't have anybody to represent them. Yeah. Um, so for me, my personal opinion was, um, I, didn't, I didn't think that this prot um, protest was necessary especially because of the conversations before the protest. But the federal government has said, okay, we have heard you and we're looking at it. We're definitely going to review um, the salaries. They're asking that the subsidy removal was a bad idea. Many Nigerians actually disagree right now. Mm -hmm. um, they, many Nigerians agree that it is causing a lot of hardship. Many Nigerians also um, agree on the, on the way it was done, like maybe it should have, uh, palliatives should have gone ahead before subsidy removal, but to reverse that policy, I do not think many Nigerians agree on that. So my question is, is the NLC just for protests and strikes? Can we work, can mm. NLC work with government when it's laying down policies and mm. ways to resolve issues? Can there be meetings that we're having on how to work together with government mm. so that Nigerians are better able to um, um, receive these palliatives, that distribution is done properly, that those that the palliatives have been um, um, earmarked for actually get it. Can NLC work in that way? Yeah. You know, ensure that the um, subsidized transportation <coughs> costs or the free costs, that they are, the workers are actually getting yes, it. I would like to see NLC in that capacity. I don't want to see NLC only in the capacity of raising placards and, you know, Protest and strikes. Yes, so be collaborators <coughs> when we have policies and we've put in, um, um, uh, um, implementation of it on ground. That is how I would like to see NLC work. Yeah. There is, I'm not saying that there's no time for strikes, there's no time for protests, but I just believe that this is, for this particular case, and right now, this is not a protest case, mm. my personal opinion. Tell me what are your thoughts on this. I am totally in line with um, what Mariam has said because. This government, you know, I put on my WhatsApp status about, I think, last week. 
that this government is barely three months in power and Nigerians are expecting a turnaround, an Magic. overnight turnaround. And some people came at me and said, no, we are not saying we should do overnight turnaround, but uh, they should have thought about it. They should have thought about it before removing the subsidy. We keep hammering on they should have thought, but it is done already. The deed has been done. Can we move on and actually give the government time to implement the policies, the strategies that they have to cushion the effects of this hardship? Yeah. We are all feeling it, but at the same time, we also need to be logical. Mm. Things do not happen overnight yeah. and I'm so everyone has been happy with the policies that were reeled out by the president in a speech you know they would um, reduce um, transportation costs there's um, subsidy on food there, there are plans for MSMEs there are grants you know coming yeah. these these are you know things that cannot happen overnight so what I think the NLC should have done they should have stepped down this protest I think they're just trying to do see me show of power. Uh, yeah. I just want to talk. But, I just want know, to talk. But so you they think should the, have at least come down Demola, for the if implementation we, if we, if we to that, happen. If, Demola, if we recall mm -hmm. that all the presidential candidates agreed to subsidy removal, mm. Atiku would have done the same thing. Absolutely. Peter Obi would have done exactly the same mm -hmm. thing. So would they be protesting against their own candidates if Peter B. Obi indeed had become president and he now removed and subsidy was removed as, as, as expected? Would they also protest? Because that's the party that I understand that Everybody, as Mariam said, has agreed there's a need for to stop it. Mm -hmm. But if you are demanding for refineries to work, refineries cannot work overnight. Mm. And somebody has to, put a, it's just like somebody, somebody has to put a process in place to exactly. get the refineries to work. I think, you know, I, like mm -hmm. I mentioned, I, over the years I've not trusted them. But in, in, this, in the protest, I don't mind today, um, a one-day protest. Because, you know, when we, we, we wear different shoes, and those, there are different people that are wearing a particular shoe in this moment that their condition is extremely dire, and they need to be spoken for, and they don't have the means. They can, their voice will never be heard. Those are the people that NLC is representing, the hardship to the people that they are speaking for. I was talking to um, someone and was, that was telling me that she is trying to, he's gathering money over the past two years so that he can rent a house in Lagos. When he went to visit his parents, he converted the money that he was gathering to rent a place for his parents because he said where he met them. So what we are looking at and, look, and we're seeing as we can manage, for some people, there is no management option. So we, 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 for, for if, if anybody is looking at it based on their own pocket and how they are able to squeeze it, what are those that don't have any pockets to squeeze? So, so that this is a platform for them, not to shut down the economy, mm -hmm, not exactly. to go on strike. A protest to say, my people, like this, your, um, what you say you will do, it's, it, we can't wait. The way, what, they said that the, um, palliative, the palliative measure that has been ruled out is not comprehensive enough. And they have a list of what they think it should do. So mm -hmm. you, if they don't protest, they won't get a platform to have a conversation. So with this protest now, so, they'll be brought into the table to have a conversation there with was a the meeting president. Yeah. So are we there saying that the only steering way... steering committee. The yes. president has a steering committee and the work video. The government should have... That, like, this steering committee was... No, let, me, let, me, let, me, let us read it. Let us read it. Uh, <laughs> they said... Government should accord appropriate recognition uh, and support mm. to the Presidential Steering Committee and work of its subcommittees, as well as put to a stop to inhuman actions and policies of the government. These are things that can be done, yes. not by protest. Yes, so, done. so the, 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 the issue is that mm. we can, the, every issue, every, every request you're making can be fixed. Mm. The only one I know that cannot be fixed is the refineries overnight. Yeah. Mm. But if the government should, but I also understand the need to protest as a, as a, as a, as a labor. Mm. Protesting just tells government that we are here, we'll see our numbers. Speed right? up, speed up. Action. Whatever you are doing, then your palliative that you recommended, we'll make sure we are here, our numbers are, we are large. Mm. And if we decide to strike, it will affect you. So this is your palliative. Make sure it is properly implemented. Maybe that is a reason okay. for a protest. Except if that's just, just to, prove a, point. Just to mm -hmm. prove a point. Mm -hmm. But I just don't want my NLC to be a, an organization of protest. Right. Mm -hmm. If there is a steering committee, if there's already a platform on ground where we're having conversations, yeah. I have no problem as a Nigerian worker listening to Labour saying, after our meeting, this is what we have discussed so far. The next meeting will be this, 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 and this is what we're doing so far. Yes. We are not going to protest because this administration is giving us the air and it looks like it's listening to us. Mm -hmm. these, are the, these are the things that we are putting in place. In three months, in six months, if we do not see this, we will be protesting. Yeah. So what, when you protest, even after you have agreed that you're having a conversation, mm. I'm saying, what are you saying to the Nigerian people as a body? Right. You know, is it really representing me? Or is it really about a show of power? We're tired of this show of power, really. Nigeria just wants want things to work. 
We don't want you, um, you know, just positioning yourself. We see it. We see it through some of these antics. Oh, you are trying to show how much power, influence you have so that things will happen for you. Nigerians don't want that. We want to see that real conversations concerning real Nigerian issues are happening in a way that Nigerians are put ahead and are put forward. Simple I'm not trying to insinuate protesting can wait. Let me let you yeah. So the truth is, even if the government were to reverse that policy today, the people that are complaining of hardship, or oh, we cannot feed, we cannot do, that reversal will not improve their financial status. I'm not saying that uh, you cannot become rich overnight. Yes, we have those uh, exceptional, uh, you know, yeah, there are rules mm -hmm. to the exception. But you cannot say that, oh, reverse it, and then it will automatically make my condition better. Because you haven't, by yourself, put the um, right strategies in place for you yeah. to be empowered. Yeah. If you don't have a job currently and then the uh, government reverses the policy, are you saying that you'll get a job immediately? No, if you so have a job and saying, salary is not good enough. So we're saying, so we're but, but, but exactly. So, so the government is saying that um, you are complaining that you're hungry, you're hungry. I'm, I come to you, I say I'm hungry. You're supposed to at least give me money to eat mm. first before telling me to go and look for a job. At least solve my hunger. Mm. I think that is what the government is trying to do now. At least let us use this one in the immediate... Short -term yes, short-term short -term remedies, you, and then we now focus on the long-term remedies. Well, but they're saying, no, this cannot work, this cannot let, work. Let me, I, I know, I, I, the reason I'm supporting the strike is because I know that... It's the not the strike. I mean, the protest, sorry, <laughs> protest, protest, protest. <laughs> and uh, because government has a lot of things on their plate. Mm -hmm. Parity will be given to what, who is shouting most. When you have... I had twins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The one that cry most is the one that will get fear, get scared <laughs> first. If I can see one person crying and the second person is still sucking on the hand, I will leave you to be sucking on your hand. I quickly quell the crying person. So, in in some cases, the one that is pacifying him or herself yeah. with consolation that government is working is going to die of hunger if care is not taken. So the protest taking place sometime, mm -hmm. and currently taking place, is to let the government know, uh, I am not pacifying, you know, I cannot chop English language. But they're not I communicating chop, it I cannot properly. chop hope. Mm -hmm. I cannot chop hope. I cannot <laughs> chop English language. Right now, I want what I can chop now. Look at what mm -hmm. happened in your yeah. state, where they had to, they, they are blocking, they, they blocked the governor from going out. The governor has explained how, this is how money is coming in. Based on what he explained, I know that it's not convenient for him to pay gratuity. He's owing gratuity for years. But if the gratuity people sit down on the, at the gates, after a few months, guess what? He will stop projects and pay them. In Nigeria, protest works. Complaining and shouting, the loudest voice tends to get help. Okay. So people have learned this is the way that works. Okay, let's <laughs> so no, it's representing it's the whole of labor in yeah, Nigeria. It's a pressure group, and they're supposed to put pressure on the government. So we understand this is one of the ways they are put. But my worry is one of the things that the president said. But let me come to this caller, Baba Guba from Gombe. Hello, sir. You're live. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually. Actually, in my own view, I don't support what Labour is doing now. Okay. My reason is that already negotiations is what is open with the committee of uh, under the leadership of the Bajaja Mila. If at all, if at all, they are open uh, this negotiation issue with the, with the government, they should not go on the street and start saying that they are, they are, they are, they are calling for another uh, rally what disturbing people on the street. Already people are getting more aware about the issue of the labor issue. Because there are many, many things, many, many negotiations have been carried, carried out for so many periods of time, uh, but nothing, this is not yielding any positive results. Uh, but what is, what is supposed to, uh, to do now, labor is supposed to look at this new government that is just coming for more, not more than two, two three months uh, period of time. Give them time, allow them, allow them to sit and, uh, and see what is going to happen, what is going to be good for the masses, what is going to be for the businessmen, and what is going to be good for the government and for, for the workers. All right. Thank you very much, Baba Bubar. Um, the president said something, that those who are against the subsidy removal have deep pockets. They're the ones that have been stealing from us for years. Mm. And they're going to do everything to resist this. And part of resisting this is probably um, finding ways to disrupt 
um, the, um, the work and the, 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 the things happening in Nigeria. So we, we should also be careful because when you see labor just coming out to protest, after you had meetings, even yesterday, they still had meetings yesterday, oh, and Nigerians have totally said, and many Nigerians, even those that have criticized the president, have said, this man gave a very um, empathetic and very uh, motivating speech on Monday. It seems like they are on track. Maybe they're not, it's not perfect yet, but okay, we are happy so far. So everybody seems to be on this, on, this, on, this, on, this, on this side, saying that, okay, let us give them some time. And you are insisting on this. Maybe, are you on the side of those who are stealing from Nigeria? Something is a question to be asked. Lebo, are you partnering with those who have been stealing from the subsidy of this country for years? Are you amongst those who must be persecuted? With the government, we're hoping and begging government to find these elites <laughs> who have stolen us, robbed us dry, because we don't know whose side you're on anymore. Yeah, and then NLC is such a powerful group, just to... Um you know, referring to what Tucker said earlier, it's representing labor, Nigeria. Saying, I mean, which, apart from NLC, is there any other pressure group as huge yeah. and as large as NLC? But I think the NLC also, um, there's a risk of, when you come out to protest when you don't need to, there's a risk of also reducing your influence and your power. Where, when you need to come out now, government will say, don't mind them, they're just protesting as usual. Let your protest and with the time you use the numbers, let it be for situations where, you know, the whole of Nigeria will stand with you. You don't want to misuse this, um, this um, tactic that you have for issues that could have been sorted at a round table. Then, we'll have, then you have nothing to hold on. This like one of your ace cards, you know, these are the things you yeah. wait to use until much later. And then you have a situation where you can just sit down, you're using it. NLC then, the power NLC has or the influence NLC have will be much reduced going forward. And I think that they should think about that before yeah. they go for another protest. Let me take this call. Cash from London. Thanks for calling. My name is Cash and I'm speaking from London. I yeah. just want to contribute on ongoing discussion. Yeah, live. Um, go ahead. Firstly, yeah, firstly, I want to uh, let the Nigerians, I mean, I want to speak about the senators and the uh, snake, snake leaders. I don't know whether they quite aware that people are watching them, not only Nigerians in Nigeria, but in abroad or in, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, in abroad, they are watching them. It seems to me, I don't think we can expect something serious with the, uh, the snake leader, a Fabio, snake, uh, uh, snake leader, I thought you, I don't think that we can, we can, we can get something serious in him, in his leadership. I'm sorry to say. Thank you, Mr. Cash, for your thoughts, for your thoughts. Comments, social media? Ah, social media comments. Let's get comments on social media. Plenty. Um, talking about the last topic, Ogumola Emmanuel says, if you see the way they agree candidates for job rules, the Senate has once again proven themselves to be a robust stamp. Um, then... On the current topic we are discussing, someone said that I support the um, palliative is a medicine or a form of medical care that relieves symptoms without dealing with the cause of the condition. And um, so she's, is that she's saying that the protest is to deal, is to resolve the main issues. So then it says, let's, what remind people, that, you know, let's, just, let's take that for a second because our job on this show is not just to discuss issues is to also explain when Nigerians are still repeating the same problem. We've had somebody come on this show this week. What we need to do is to increase production. Our problem is why dollar? And Dr. please, I want you to come in here because we must, ex we must explain to this person what the symptom is. Palliative is support is, is, is just to, is, is, is just trying to alleviate the temporary, but the real solution is that we need to become a productive nation. Mm. And when we begin to produce, so for example, if I begin to produce this biro, for example, and Nigeria, money. this biro I sell to Nigerians and I also export to different countries. As I export, I'm getting dollars. As that dollar is entering, it begins to strengthen the Naira because the Naira, we have more dollars in the system. Mm. And the demand for, when people are demanding Naira, their dollars is available to buy infrastructure, to buy, to buy machinery for their own production, things begin to better and then prices begin to drop. So, when that, so it's important that we understand it because I, even on the phone, somebody was calling me yesterday, trying to, what, what, because she, was, she, she, she didn't understand why Nigerians were celebrating the speech. What is it about this speech? What are they saying? What exactly does it mean? And, and, and they were trying to explain to her what it means. Like, okay, fine, it's not perfect. Yeah. 
Okay. The bosses are not here yet. Mm -hmm. Between now and next year, March, we're getting 3,000 CNG bosses. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to take a while. Labor, as you said earlier, Mariam, their job, therefore, is to make sure to give us timelines on these buses. Watch, that many is coming in the first batch. When will we receive it? Which states are getting it? Yeah. The granular details mm -hmm. is what we want labor to do. Not the easiest thing to do is protesting. Anybody can protest. Mm -hmm. But a labor who is serious, this speech, let us break it down. What you want to do? How much? Okay, this, this um, 100,000 want to give to uh, Nano, or is it 50,000 want to give to Nano business? How do you intend to get this 1,300 per local I government? Agree. What's the system? How are we getting 1,300? What are we doing? Are we ensuring that Nigerians are part of the OG? Politicians, mm -hmm. that's the real questions neighbors should be asking. Sit down, is it's harder to do the easiest thing anybody can go on the show and walk. Mm. Protesting is cheap, mm. but the real work is to sit down and ensure that government actually ensures that these monies Simple. get to the right people. That's the real work. They are doing both. Okay. They are doing both. They had a meeting yesterday. Yeah. With who? The, the, the well, government. They've been, mm. they've been having meetings. Yes. So it's not that they are not having meetings, it's mm. not that they just kept quiet and said, we're not talking to you, we're going to go and protest. It is that as we are talking, it's like this talk is not going to produce what we want. So let us support the talks with protest so that we can achieve our result. You know that. So if they're not, doing that, talk not, the result not, of that speaking should have come this morning. That, this, okay, this, we agree that this, 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 this is what we have discussed they, so far. They've not reached the agreement. This is not an no, idea. No, no, they reached thing. immediately. They said they were going to wait for the yes. speech to be read. Re yes. And when they heard it, they said, we insist on going on our protest in because spite of not, the meetings that we've yes. had. And the speech. Because they said it is not comprehensive enough. The, so this, the speech did not solve the problems they raised okay. that majority of people are facing. Okay. So it is, and like I said, many people distrust organized labor because we feel like they are going to profit whichever way and the people that will suffer are those that are on their own. But we have recollected that over time, we have had a government, not even this one, also we are supporting this government, Renewed Hope, all right? The previous one, the schools will go on strike, you don't get resolution. Yeah. So in this case, they are like protesting so that you will put their own issues on the front burner in terms of prioritizing what you are going to give to labor. I'm sure if the government comes out and say, we will start implementing this um, labor, um, the price change from next month or something, they will know, okay. Let's give the next month's um, timeline for it to happen. I'm just, on, I'm just mm. trying to understand yeah. why they continue. Okay. I know ideally, like Mariam said, we want a collaborative labor, not a I must fight to get... It's not, when you're used to fighting, everything... Did you see... When you're, when you're, when you're, you're a hammer, everything is a hammer. Yeah. Yes. So for labor, see, everything is fight. Did you see the, the, the wordings on the, on the banner? No, I didn't. I could not said, I think it was no to feel increment. Mm -hmm. Fuel price increment. Something, something like that. But really, was, there, was, was, was fuel increased? No, something was removed. Right. So it's all about framing. Mm. So they are walking saying... on the streets. And the man was just saying, ah, yes, increment. Yeah, they increased fuel. You know, they are now yeah, getting the price increase. Price they are not now. communicating. Price they are increase. Not communicating. But why did the price yes. increase? They made their mm. objectives properly. They are not, the Labour Congress uh, are not communicating their objectives properly because they are asking for the policy to be reverted mm. and we all many nigerians have actually agreed that this thing cannot work so why are you still insisting the refineries and all of these are things that can be done in the future they are long term so if you're saying okay we are coming out to put more pressure on you so that you can immediately implement all the policies that you tell us tell, exactly be clear with it so that people will not be confusing your objectives and i think they are also using this to prove a point because the first one that they said they said they were going to protest they didn't go yeah. uh, they didn't embark on the protest and people were saying hey label they've collected money this is that 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 ah this uh, Tinubu administration has given them money so i think they're trying to yeah. use this to make a point that okay I, I think nobody gave us protest. money someone i think i think yes. that's a good point you made okay. because it's that embark on they it. need to prove a point you know and, and i also think it's also good just to support Tokwe a bit is that <laughs> i understand that there is a need to let the government know that listen we are here we are labor, we speak for Nigerians. They, when we, we tell them to go out, they go out. Mm -hmm. See our numbers. So don't try us. So I, I mean, that, that's also important. Mm -hmm. But to, 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 to be more objective, Let's not we'd rather them long. to do it properly. Let's not do it for too long. But thank God they were also smart in saying it's not a strike or Quickly. it's just a protest. So they're just saying, God may see us, but we're not really disrupting things. So we, we, we hear you. <laughs> but I think um, Nigerians really want more from labor beyond protesting. Do a proper engagement. I just don't like being a pawn in all this politics back and forth. I don't like it, you know. Yeah. I just want to be able to trust um, 
the pressure group that represents me. And also, I think there's, this, there's a new culture. Nigerians expect excellence from everyone. Absolutely. So for my NLC, I'm expecting excellence. OK, <laughs> that's all we can take. Thank you very much, Mariah. I think we can end with that. <laughs> that's all we can take on today's show. Hope you learned a few things as we have. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.